Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. By the time you're watching this, it will be Labor Day. Thank you for joining me. Really quick, I'm gonna give you an update on everything we have going on. Just spend a couple of minutes with me, if you don't mind. See. Welcome to our vlog. We are the Milnes family. We started building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska in the summer of 2021. That's my husband, Aaron. I am Jessica, a stay-at-home wife and mom. Our second son, Caleb, lives here with us along with our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt. We brought our two dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and got a new addition, the Alaska dog, Roberto. A little pause while Cody plays with our chickens. All the feathers on her feet. <laughs> They're funny. Funny feet. Yoink. Do it again. Fly, you flightless bird! <laughs> Do it, Scar Cody, circle him. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, Cody and her chickens. This is our other Roo. He will literally let her hold him like a baby. Okay, first off, I'm working diligently on finishing this chicken coop. We have drug everything out of it. Again, with my weird little piles. Aaron and Cody are helping hang the white part. So I'll give you a quick update, but there's gonna be an entire chicken coop finishing winterizing the chicken coop video coming. So let's take a look. We have, this is my mud tack room. We're working on insulation in the ceilings. I primered this wall. This is what we're hanging. And that goes on the ceilings and the walls. Update on the chickens. They're laying, laying, laying. Look, there's even an egg in there. Oh, oh, that's real disturbing. Sorry about that. We'll give them, give them some space. Anywho, oh, the chicken coop door is installed, finally. Aaron's got that going on. It didn't rain <laughs> as much as normal today. And so we did get some painting done. The outside needs painted. Aaron finished trimming the coop. So I have some paint and some other things to finish outside here. Let's take a quick look at what all I'm having to do in the garden as well on this Labor Day. I think we do like a weekly update at this point on the garden. So whatever ate the potatoes really did all of that but when I sprayed it with the Dawn dish soap it kind of has nipped it like some of them now really are doing quite well but there are potatoes look the potatoes are breaking the ground open look at that do you see Anywho, we are going to wait until this dies back to harvest the potatoes. So we're going to give them a little more time to keep growing. The artichoke, someone needs to tell me how big these are before you pull them. Doing really well. The beets are starting to poke out. Still have some kohlrabi to pull. Haven't gotten my Brussels sprouts, but look. Guys, they really are starting their little balls. And I do think we have enough warm days left ahead of us that we might actually get some Brussels sprouts. So that is super exciting. The tomatoes really have done wonders since I nipped everything. I'll pull this guy in a minute. Pop those in. These are starting to die back. They're very temperamental, but look at, there's like a million cherry tomatoes on there. So probably Labor Day, we'll harvest all that. These are still growing. Jalapenos 
looking amazing. Look, look at, look at, look at. One of them is finally ripe. Look at my little red pepper. Cute, cute, cute. More potatoes here. Oh, this guy's starting to drop tomatoes, so I think I'm going to pull all of him tomorrow. Ooh, look. A few of them are actually ripening on the vine without rotting. Beautiful, huh? And then, here we go. Look at my little... Oh, I got too much water. Right. Let's pull a leaf. Cover him up. What in the world? So many leaves missing. Oh, there's a little cauliflower in there. But, guys, look, I'm going to have some cabbages. So, remember, I told you I'd come through and just pull like ones like this size, and I feed those to the chickens. But look, cabbages. They're actually growing. We're going to be able to harvest some cabbages so that's the garden update everything is going lovely this area will work wonderful next year I have something I want to show you that we're going to be harvesting here really really quickly okay really quick though <laughs> I caught him <laughs> we caught Aaron in the video Aaron got this Thing done today him and Cody no, we bad. need well we need to do a little trim but it's looking beautiful you did so good on it what's my job I, have the chicken coop. I do need help with the chicken coop Aaron I like the detail in the wood right there looks so cool yeah, what do you think? Put my trim on, on the roof and we'll be done. Put the trim on the roof. And then all of that wood and its rows of it back there gets stacked in here, right? Yep. You did good. Good job, babe. Okay, so if you don't know what this plant is, these are wild roses. And then the rose hip is left behind. It has a ton of medicinal purposes. And so we will actually be harvesting these. We could probably do it now. So this week, these are going to get pulled. I have to double check my plants, but I am told, and I have not done it, this one yet, these are called high bush cranberries. They are not in the cranberry family. If this is right, that these are the high bush cranberries, then we are going to come through and harvest these as well. And I am told that they make like a lovely ketchup, ironically. So they have very much that flavor to them. Um, Look, so everything you see across here that's got this mauve color to it, see? We're like into fall all of a sudden. All of that is high bush cranberry. This was the fireweed. This is what fireweed looks like now. So these are the seeds. And then look at it's done done its stuff. So I have one more thing I need to find out here and show you what else we're going to be harvesting shortly. Okay, if you watched my um, episode where I made a cranberry sauce, these are low bush cranberries. This is what they look like. So they grow on this waxy plant and there's just a few of them. But there's so many of them on the floor. So aren't those beautiful? See how dark they are? These are ready, probably. Pretty close. Close enough that I could harvest these just fine. No problem. 
and they're just everywhere. So see, there's just a ton of them. Aren't they so pretty? So we'll come through um, and do about a gallon size bag of those and either we can process them or we can pop them in the freezer and I can use them throughout the year. But you could also make cranberry juice from them um, in your pressure cooker. So we just pop the cranberries in and water and use your pressure cooker. So maybe we'll do that together. We'll make some wild <laughs> cranberry juice from Alaska here together. So yeah, let's see. Oh, did you all know that we have a Q and A? We do, we're gonna answer a bunch of your questions. Some are real similar. They're very interesting. The funny thing is, is I don't think most of you realized that we are actually basically a solar panel away from being off grid. So if you're interested in knowing and understanding that our house and all that we do here, if we put up a solar panel and had some batteries, we would actually be completely off grid. Did you know that? Let me know in the comment section. And then if you do have questions for us, um, a lot of people ask how Aaron works or where he works or how we got here, or choices we make, so on. There's a tab in the community tab or you can leave questions under this video as well. Let us know what you want to know in the next week or so. We'll record that video for you. But I wanted to give everyone another opportunity to ask us questions about our Alaska homestead here outside of Wasilla. Let's see what else I can show you before we cut off. Well, <laughs> it is for sure fall here in Alaska. I wanted to show you, look at, everything is changing so quickly. All of these take you guys on walks down to the lake. Um, we did get quite a few questions on our lake and I'll walk you down to it and see if you have anything else that you wanted to add to the Q&A to know about our lake. So these paths were not actually made by us. They're like made by moose. So all of this, do you see how far back the water comes? Is, um, it's just swampy back here. This is my neighbors, my beautiful, amazing neighbor. I'm gonna walk out on their dock. Hmm. All right, here we go. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Well, thank you for hanging out. Uh, this is not a typical video. I just hadn't talked to you guys in a few days and I wanted to say hello 
give you an update that we are finishing a bunch of stuff, recording a bunch of stuff, and it'll just be a few days before we can get that posted. So thank you for hanging out. If you're new around here, we're the Milnes family. We bought and are building this modern homestead here outside of Wasilla. Like I said, we invite you to stick around for a little bit. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button. When you ring the bell, you get notifications and you won't miss anything we're doing. When you give us thumbs up and leave comments, all those things help our channel to grow. And if you're new around here, leave a comment in the comment section, maybe tell me where you're from or something interesting and I'll say hello back to you. So thank you for joining us today. Aaron and Cody and I, it's eight o'clock. We are going to go clean up everything that doesn't get rained on and we'll tackle this again tomorrow. The next time I see you, the chicken coop should be complete. So happy Labor Day. <laughs> I hope lots of you get a really good rest out there. Uh, we will not be resting. But come winter, we will get a lot of rest. So we're going to finish insulating and getting all this done around here. So thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye. I do hope that you find some peace and some blessings on the upcoming week. And I do look forward to seeing you soon. Be blessed. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.